Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Jesus is Lord of Lords, and of course, He is King of Kings. This is the day the Lord has made, yes. and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Praise God. Welcome to a wonderful Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. Praise <laughs> God. Coming to you right in your homes again. Praise God. Thank God for Facebook. Thank God for good communication, and thank God for the privilege of being able to connect with you on this morning. Praise Amen. God. Amen. <laughs> so, uh, Dr. Bill, give him a good welcome. Well, good morning. We love you. Amen. Everyone that's coming on this morning, I know this is an early morning. Good morning, Mary. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> we know that this is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to go ahead and rejoice anyway, and we're going to be glad in it. Amen. For the Lord God, He is our God, and above Him there is nobody else can compare to what he's going to do. Amen. So we're just looking forward to being with you this, this morning and sharing a great word that God has for us. Amen. Dr. Uh, Apostle Dr. Alfred Craig. Amen. He has a word for us and we're going to just, just magnify the Lord. Amen. Like the way we know how. God bless you, Jacqueline, Mark. Amen. Lucy Jones. Amen. We got, we praise and thank God for you this morning. So we want you to share this, you know, take somebody, Email somebody, whatever you have to do, run in the bedroom and tell somebody, get up. Dr. and Mrs. Craig is on the line. <laughs> Praise God. That's right. That's Hallelujah. right. Amen. God got good things for Great you. Things. And you know, many people are going through some, you can get my, I think my, my notebook's yes. backing up, uh, going now. Uh, but thank you so much. Uh -huh. what, what happened was earlier this morning, when I got ready to get on this morning, all of a sudden my iPad started going working real slow. The the, the uh, internet. I said, "Oh my God!" I guess I use my phone there, but praise God, it finally came up. Amen. Yes. Dion, welcome. Amen. Praise God, Good Gwen. Morning. Welcome this morning. <laughs> Many people around the world are on on Facebook today or online in some kind of way. Montoya, God bless you, daughter. Amen. Uh, Good morning. And, and you know, but thank God that that God knew ahead of time. Yes. That uh, this Corona thing would be happening. Praise God. But thank God. For the privilege he's given us to be on Facebook, many many pastors are online in different kind of ways. But yes. the good thing is, praise God, Jesus is still alive, still and good alive. things are still happening. Praise <laughs> God. Now I'm gonna share some things with you this morning, because people are going through so many things, you know, and and we never want to, you know, think lightly of the of the challenge people are going through. Many people have uh, uh, gotten laid off their jobs and things like that, whether they work in restaurants and different things that people are going through. Then other people that are on jobs, like like you got your nurses, your doctors that have been overworked yes. during this time. But the main thing, you know, is that God is still got it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise yes, God. He does. And so it's up to us as Christians and as men and women of God to share good things, to share the good things of the things of God. Because we, we always say every morning, this is the day the Lord has made. Mm -hmm. Well, did God make this day? Yes, he Even did. though the world is different. With these Christ and things like that, praise God. Yes. Amen. That's right, Mary. Our cell phones and our That's tablets right. are now mobile church. church. We still are the church. I mean, we still Amen. are having church this morning, praise Hallelujah. God. And guess what? We still have the victory. Yes, we do. In Jesus' name. So this is the thing that God put in my heart today, and that is to, to stand. To encourage his people to stand. Mm -hmm. Amen. To stand, to make the decision to stand. Uh, and, and no matter what's going on today, and, and some of the things I'm going to be showing you today is how to stand. Yes. Especially when so many people are dealing with financial issues today. Many people for the first time in years did not get a check yesterday. Wow. Uh, you follow me? Yeah. Uh, and and that's, that's, a, that's tragic. Mm -hmm. uh, you follow me? Mm -hmm. So how do uh, people in the body of Christ who have been laid off from their jobs and things like that, how, are, how can they make it during this time? Mm -hmm. So this message for you to stand, amen, and not just stand, but to stand because we know that God always mm -hmm. brings us out, his people, amen, yes, he does. in the midst of darkness. Glory. But the Bible says God will prepare a table before them in the presence of their enemies. Yes. And so we're just trusting God in that area. So the first scripture I'm going to take you to this morning is in the book of Deuteronomy, mm -hmm. chapter number 8 and verse number 18, on what God tells us to do. In in, in, in situations that will be going on right now, when financial issues are going on, financial crisis going on, people not knowing how they're gonna make how they're gonna make the rent payment, how to make the car payments, how they're gonna take care of their children, how what do we do today? Yes. And and and, uh, and Deuteronomy chapter eight verse eighteen. My wife gonna read it for you real good. Deuteronomy eight eighteen. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. for it is He that giveth thee power to get wealth, that He may establish His covenant 
which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. So one of the things when you're standing mm -hmm. and you're making a decision to stand mm -hmm. is to remember, is to remember the Lord your God. Yes. Uh, now, we have to get, you know, get it. Even though right now the, the, the airwaves, the TV, the red everybody is, is, is mm -hmm. blanketing the airwaves, newspaper, uh, uh, our, our things and, and the internet with coronavirus, it's time for you and I to remember the Lord our God. We have to remember. Because the remember. Bible says, whatever we let go into our mind will be transformed into that image. I'm going to yes. say it again. Whatever we keep allowing to go into our mind, we will be transformed into that image. Mm -hmm. So you and I, even though it's nothing wrong with getting information and kind of keeping up with what's going on, mm -hmm. but we cannot allow ourselves to be so in inundated That's good. with what's going on out there That's good. that that we allow ourselves to be transformed into fear yes are you following me Amen. so god says in a time like this and when you're going through what you're going through right now he says remember remember let's <laughs> let's get transformed That's it. be transformed by renewing of your mind remember the lord your god mm -hmm. Amen. And praise God. Amen. Let's not just remember what the devil is doing. No. Let's not just remember the reports of CNN and ABC. Nothing wrong with that. That's right. But he said, I need you to remember the Lord your God, for it is he. It's he. It is he, <laughs> not waiting on the Senate or the Congress to vote on it. Uh -huh. Amen. All those checks come in. All those checks come in. <laughs> Amen. But remember, it is the Amen. Lord your God yes. for his people <laughs> that will give power to get wealth. That's it. And that means no matter where you are in your situation today, mm -hmm. God says, I am the one, right. me, mm -hmm. that gives you the power to get Beautiful. wealth, whether it's famine mm -hmm. or feasting. Come on. I'm the one that gives you it power to get wealth. Uh, he said, so that I may establish my covenant in mm -hmm. the earth, which I swore mm -hmm. unto your fathers. So God says, look, I got this. All right. In the midst of this. Because whatever you allow to stay on your mind, you attract to you. Amen. Are you following me? He says, so I need you to remember the, the Lord mm -hmm. your God, for it is he mm -hmm. that giveth thee yes. power to give wealth. And wealth means more than enough. Come on. For not, to not only be blessed, but to be a blessing. And Beautiful. to encourage someone else with it. Amen. Amen. And, and, and the thing about us as, as Christians is this. Is that we don't want to just limit what God's going to do in our life mm -hmm. to what we can do. Come on. Because cause right now... You know, like for instance, you know, even in churches right now, uh, because we're obeying the, the, the laws of the land, mm -hmm. uh, uh, are not able to have services. Yes. Uh, and, and many businesses who, who, who now has to uh, have employees that don't have a way to get uh, no jobs, mm -hmm. you know, uh, are stuck mm -hmm. in those areas. So what do we do? When our ability ends, mm. when what we what we've trusted in, right. is, it's not there anymore. All right. uh, and, and if, I'm a, if I'm a business owner, what do I do when I got employees that need to get paid? Mm -hmm. Or what do I do when I am an employee and my employer just let me off? Mm -hmm. uh, what do I do when when I've come to the end of myself and yes. what I, my ability? Right. Well, if, let's go to the book of Ephesians, okay. and we're going to look at Ephesians chapter three, verse number twenty, and let's see what Ephesians three twenty says. Okay, so my Amen. wife going to read that for us. Ephesians three twenty. Now unto him mm -hmm. that is able to do exceedingly above all that we ask or think, abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that's at work on the inside of us. Amen. So, so, amen. So the thing is now is that, that we cannot look from the outside in all right. for our future. Okay. He said, but from the inside out. Mm. He said unto him. So unto remember him. this, unto him mm -hmm. that is able. Mm -hmm. Our ability Sometimes it ceases because sometimes I say, well, Pastor, how are we going to make it? You know, the church is not going or, or how are we going to do our business? He said, all right, now let's look unto him now. Okay. Uh, 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 who is able mm -hmm. to, to do, do exceeding <laughs> beautiful above. abundantly above what? All oh. that we can ask or think. Or think. According. How are they going to do it? According to the power. Uh -huh. That's working in us. Amen. So God gives us then the power. Mm -hmm. He gives us the money, yes. the finances, yes. to operate mm -hmm. and to function every day in our lives. Good. 
but we now trust in him. That's the book of Proverbs says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Mm -hmm. Lean not to your own understanding, mm -hmm. but acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. So we're trusting God now. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I'm going to be your guide. Huh. And though, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I don't fear me because I'm with you. Amen. So the whole goal is now we're looking to God who is able. Is that right? That's good. So the next point, so that's the first point was then, remember the Lord your God. The point number two is, mm -hmm. remember God. God as your source, not your job. Mm. Remember God. See, we've been, we teach this all the time, but now it's time to really put this into action. Beautiful. All right. Is God really our source? Okay. Or, or, or was it just religion? Mm. Was it just some things that we just, it's a part of our, our talk. Well, God is my source. Okay. Now we're going to send that. All right. Okay. Is God really our source now? <laughs> Are you following me? When, when right now, uh, as a pastor, we don't have the members in a, in a, in a okay. physical building right now. Right. So is God so, still our source? Right. Well, uh, when, when it, I own a business, that's good. and now they've told me that my business, I can operate my business right now. Oh. Is God still my source? Come on. Is God still God? That's good. And is God still going to supply my needs? See, uh, mm -hmm. read verse, uh, uh, let's go to Philippians now, chapter 4 and verse number 19, and let my wife read that now. Philippians 4, 19, mm -hmm. but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So how is God going to supply my needs? <laughs> he says, my God, my Paul God. says, my God, uh -huh. the God that we're talking about that says, I give you power to get wealth. All right. The God that says, I'm working in you, <laughs> uh, exceeding, yeah. abundantly and above all you can ask or, or think. He says, so here, my God, mm -hmm. my God shall supply. So now we're looking at my God now mm -hmm. instead of just the the economy. That's good. We're looking at my God now instead of waiting on the Senate and the and and, and the Congress to to uh to uh yes. to vote on it. Yes. Thank God for what they're doing. Thank God for the for everything they're doing. I praise God for what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But but we have to still keep God as our, as source, our source. Because right now, uh, uh this thing is taking this whole nation my, and the my, world. My. In yeah. the natural realm by storm, but our, to us as Christians, mm -hmm. God's covenant people, he says, my God shall supply how much? Oh. All your need according to his riches, where? In, in glory. glory. By. by Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at God's riches in glory and not limiting ourselves to what we can do. That's good. And what man can do. Okay. And thank God for man. Thank God for what we can do. Yes. But we have to look. You can turn that down for me. Right, Alfred. So we have to look to God. Amen. Work on that. Uh, amen. Who, who, who can do it? Praise God. So uh, number three is expect great things. Mm -hmm. Let's expect great things. In other words, keep our expect. I think good. one writer says, my, my expectation is from the Lord. Mm -hmm. So we got to keep our expectation from God and not from man. God will work through man, are you following me? But it does not come from man. So we gotta keep God as our source. And then number four is this, <clears throat> excuse me, have faith over the facts. Okay. The facts are are there. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 jobs have stopped. Mm -hmm. Employment has gone unemployment has gone way up. People have lost their jobs. Are you following mm -hmm. me? All the things, those are, those are real facts. Yes. But the thing is now, we don't ignore those facts. Nope. But as Christians, based as on the Christians. word of God, we have to make sure that we don't, uh, we're not denying those facts, but we are refusing their right to dictate the terms of our lives. Sure. We as Christians, we're to walk by faith and not by sight. Uh, you got that? So now, so number five is this. Number five is, don't, st this, is number, this is important to, this is to believers, to you that love God with all your heart, to you that are committed to your church, okay? Number five is this. Don't stop giving to your church or, or ministries that are blessing you mm -hmm. because that's still the key. It was the key when we when, when, when everything was going good. It's still the key today. And, and, and let's notice some scriptures about Jesus, how Jesus handled situations when people's finances had been cut down are you following me? Mm -hmm. But I want you to see something that Jesus, even in what we call penury times, even in poor economic times, Jesus is still watching over still watching. the offerings. Okay? So uh, my wife is going to read uh, Mark chapter number 12, verse 41 through verse 44. And Jesus sat over against the treasury 
and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury. And many that were rich cast in much. And there came a certain poor widow, mm -hmm. and she threw in two mites, making, which made a farthing, two cents. And he called unto him his disciples and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast in more than all they which have cast into the treasury. For all they did cast in of their abundance, but she of her, of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. Amen. Okay, so let's notice something here. Mm -hmm. That Jesus, even in the midst of this woman's uh, 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 poor times, okay. he's still watching over the offerings that's coming into the church. Mm -hmm. You got that? Wow. So again, it said he said, uh, he said that Jesus set over against the treasury and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury. So we need to recognize, saints, that even though that the church, the physical building is not operational right now. Okay. Uh, you follow me? Jesus is still watching over the treasury. And he's still watching people as they're giving. And, and what you don't want to do is, is give in to the world system that's telling Christians this is not a time for you to give to the things of God. My God. Because just as anybody else needs their finances, your church needs its finances. Amen. Are you following me? So it says he sat over against the treasury and beheld how people beheld the how the people cast money to the treasure and listen and many that were rich cast in much. Mm -hmm. We can use that for instance for instance. It, it's easy and thank God for those who still have jobs. I thank God for that. Amen. Thank God for you that did not get laid off your job. Thank God for you that whose jobs are continue on. That's a great blessing. But the thing is, there are other people who right now is living at a, a shortage. Oh, yeah. But notice how Jesus Christ even looked at the individual, this little wo this widow woman, who didn't have that much to give now. Mm -hmm. But notice what Jesus said here. It says in verse 42, And there came... In, in the same time, a poor, a certain poor woman, and she threw in two mice, which made a farmer mean that, that a, a fa those a father meant she she had only she has, only she has two cents. Hmm. One translation said she had two pennies. That's all she had. And but the but notice Jesus is still watching the two pennies being given mm -hmm. as much as he watching the much being given. You follow me? And so that means that when you don't have that much. Mm -hmm. it, Jesus still watches your giving. Yes, he does. Are you following me? But look what Jesus said here in verse number uh, 43. And Jesus called unto him his disciples and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, this poor widow woman <laughs> has cast more in than they, which, uh, than they which cast into the treasury. You know what he said? Look, he says this poor woman lost her job mm -hmm. during this crisis. This poor woman, her husband is not there to support her right now. Yes. But yet she's not stopped her giving. Yet she's understanding the power of her giving. She's still understanding that God is the one that gives us power to get wealth. Mm -hmm. She still understands that my God says apply all my needs. So even though she don't have the, as much to give, yet her heart is still According to the word of God. It's still and in her giving also. It's, it's still in her giving. Her heart is still in her giving. Mm -hmm. And she's still purposing her heart oh, to yes. be a giver. That's right. And so it says in verse 44, Jesus says, For all they mm -hmm. which had the money, which yes. is good, right. cast in of their abundance, <laughs> but she of her want My God. did cast in all she had, even her all living. Mm -hmm. Meaning that Jesus said, look, this, I know this woman is going through some extreme times. Yeah. Right now she got laid off her job. Her husband is not, her husband not, not supportive right now. And she has children to take care of. But she's not stopped her giving. That's right. And he said this one because of her heart. And because of, see God looks not at what's in your hand. He looks at what's in your heart. Praise God. And the whole goal is let's not let our heart <laughs> depart from God as we continue to trust him as our source and Lord. trust him as the one that gives us the power to get wealth. That's sure. sure. so important to do that this time. Mm -hmm. So she gave her whole heart. Yes, she did. So, so my point number six is this. Mm -hmm. Believe the word of God mm -hmm. over someone as, uh, someone's opinion about the word of God. Mm -hmm. It's important for you to believe the word of God 
over someone's opinion about the word of God. I know where people might come to you and say, you know what? This is no time to be you know, supporting the church. This is yeah. no time to be giving to God no more. My God. No, no, no. Don't believe, don't believe someone else's, someone else's opinion, opinion over the word of God. Amen. We know as Christians that it is God that gives us power to get wealth. We, we said that before this crisis hit. Oh, yeah. We <laughs> said, my God supplies all my needs. All right, has God changed? No. He has not. Is God bigger than coronavirus? Always will be. <laughs> Are you following? Yeah, he greater is He that is yes. in us Much than He greater. that is in the world. Amen. So we got to believe that. And so number seven is this: It's time for you and I then to call those yes. things that be not as though they already are. And and my wife is going to read for us Romans chapter four and verse number seventeen. Let's read it together. As as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations mm -hmm. before him whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were. In other words, it's time for you and I yes. to not speak of things that are, Come on. but to speak of things that are not. Mm -hmm. And what are those things that are not? Those things that are not are the things that are in the word of God. Mm -hmm. That I am who God says I am. Mm -hmm. I have what God says I have. And I can do what God what says God I can do. Says. Whether or not I'm presently experiencing it. My present experience circumstances is not what makes God God. But, I, by, but, but, but David said, but I will look into the hills from which cometh my help. Mm -hmm. My help comes from God. So, so now we must call those things to be not. Amen. What be not finances? What be not job? Mm -hmm. What be not food on the table? Mm -hmm. I, I gotta start calling those things that be rent not. Paid. Uh, Amen. What's that? Rent paid. Rent paid yes. in Jesus' God, name. Yes. Glory to God. Jesus. Mortgage paid. Yes. Car payment paid. Right. Oh. Uh, are your food paid? Yes. I gotta call those things out and in that be not, especially things that that the Word of God promises yes. that I can have. The Bible says, "My God." shall supply. And, that, and we're trusting that, saints. Mm -hmm. To all of us, we're trusting that. My God shall supply all my need mm -hmm. according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And that's what we're standing on today. Today, we're standing. We're taking Thank a stand you, in, as the children of God that we are God's covenant people. Yes, praise God. Are. And he's never left us yet. Praise Amen. God. So so now, number my point number eight is this. Be believe God, not just believe in yeah. God. <laughs> See, a lot of people are believing in God wow. during this time, mm -hmm. but are they believing God? Come That's on. a total difference. Well, I believe in God. Okay, yes. But do you believe God? Wow. Do you believe God in this situation, or are you just kind of believing what the Word says about God? Mm. Are you just mentally assenting Jesus. that God can do it, mm -hmm. or are you really believing God? Come on. That God... It will do exactly what it says it will do. Exactly. Well, I want we're gonna go through a scripture in the book of Mark, chapter number nine, verse twenty-three, mm -hmm. and we're gonna read that together because we need to see that we we're not ready just to believe in God. Mm -mm. The devil believes in God, but he don't believe God. All right. And that's the different point. So let's read a uh, Mark, chapter number nine. And verse number 23 together. Mark 9, 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Isn't that beautiful? So he says, look. He says, no matter what circumstance or situation that you're going through, mm -hmm. it's possible. It is. It's possible all things. if we believe God. Mm -hmm. and, and so this is now, when we believe the unbelievable, mm. We can receive the impossible. impossible. I'm going to say it again. When we believe the unbelievable, wow. we can receive the, the impossible. He, Jesus says, if you just believe, not believe in God, but believe God, that God, I believe this is done in Jesus' name. Beautiful. I believe that my needs Amen. are met in Jesus' name. Yes. I believe that, that, that coronavirus is not going to touch me and my house in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm not believing in you. I'm not believing you can do it. I'm believing you that by Jesus stripes I'm healed. Amen. I'm believing you that all my needs are met. So am I believing in God or am I believing God? Well, that's a difference. You got that? Amen. So one thing about believing God is this. When I believe God, I'm not just going to pray about how I'm going to pay for it mm. until I see the end result. Amen. But I'm, but I'm going to believe God that is done based on the word of God. Mm. You got that? 
Cause we're, we're, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go to point ten. But when I go to point ten, we're gonna we're gonna get ready. Just one moment to read Mark eleven twenty three. But this is the whole goal. Mm -hmm. Many times you gotta be careful. Is recognize the power God has put in your believing and in your saying. Okay. You gotta remember the power God has put in your believing and in your saying. In other words. We're not going to be looking just to keep uh, 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 asking God to climb this mountain. But we're going to believe God that if we believe and we speak it, we're going to dissolve the mountain. That's we're going to dissolve this mountain of financial lack. Mm -hmm. We're going to dissolve this mountain of insufficiency Amen. and sickness and disease. Yes. And we're going to do it by believing it and saying it. That's so let's it. read Mark chapter number 11 and verse 23 together. For verily I say unto you. That whosoever shall say unto this mountain, mm -hmm. Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Can you see that? So my power then is in my believing and my saying. Look what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. Whosoever shall say. That means my power is in my saying. Yes. Unto this mountain. That means not climbing the mountain, but speaking to the mountain. Be thou, he said, be thou removed. Not, I'm not going to climb you. No. Nope. Are you following? He said, be thou removed. Mm -hmm. You got to start speaking to your situation. That obstacle is before you. Be thou removed. Okay. And be cast into the sea. Mm -hmm. And again, don't doubt. Don't doubt. We got to not believe in God. We got to believe God that what we're saying. Look what he says here. Mm -hmm. There shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things, believe that those things which he saith. Believe those things which he saith mm. shall come to pass. Mm -hmm. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Amen. So your power then is in your believing mm -hmm. and in your saying. Yes. So you got to you got to you got to you got to wrap up your words. Come on. <laughs> and glory those to words God. Of faith. And, and 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 you can't be saying I don't know what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. I don't know how things gonna turn out. I'm hoping something come up. No, no, no. Your power is in your believing and in your saying. Yeah. So notice how he follows this next. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to read my, my number right. 10 point. But I want you to see how he follows these, these, uh, 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 saying and believing with the next verse. And, and this is this. Believe for the things you desire, not words about those things. Yeah. In other words. You know, I'm not going to believe, well, you know, I know God can do this. I know God can heal me. I know God. No, no. Don't. You have to believe that what is the thing you're desiring? Yes. Believe for that very thing. Not just talk about what the word says about that thing. All right. That's you got good. that? That's good. So my wife was going, let's, well, let's all read it together. This is in uh, Mark 11, 24. now verse number 24. We're going to read that together. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when you pray. Mm -hmm. Believe that you receive them and you shall have them. You got that? So here we go. Therefore, based upon Mark eleven twenty three, 23, mm -hmm. what things soever mm -hmm. you desire, mm -hmm. what do you desire? You know, Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd. I sh Psalm 23 says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Mm -hmm. One scripture talks about that, 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 that those that seek the Lord shall not want for any good thing. Any good so thing. what are the things that you desire right now? You find me what things do you desire? Not a bottle thing, what things you desire mm -hmm. when you pray. Mm -hmm. When you pray. When you pray. Believe your powers and your saying and in your believing. Yeah. Believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Notice he didn't say believe or notice he didn't say figure out how you're gonna pay for it. Because mm -mm. sometimes we ask me, Lord, I'm trying to believe. I'm believing you, God, but I'm also trying to believe how you're going to pay for this thing. Mm -hmm. But he says, believe that you receive it. Mm -hmm. That God says, if you can believe, all things are possible. Now, I know there's always a God part and a man part. We got to put action to our faith. I understand that. But the whole goal is sometimes when we, when we, we say I'm believing God, we're, we're trying to figure out, all right, God, how are you going to do it? Yes. But God said, believe that you receive it. Mm -hmm. Believe that you receive it. Mm -hmm. And you shall have yeah. it. Are you following not how you're going to pay for it? But believe it. Mm -hmm. If God put it in his word, mm -hmm. he says, believe that you receive mm -hmm. those things that you desire today. Amen. You got that today? Mm -hmm. So so not when it manifests. Mm -hmm. The house. Mm -hmm. Well, pastor, should I stop believing for my house? 
Since all this is going on, no, 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 no. Stay we don't stop believing. No. It's kind of like when, when, uh, when, the, when I think it was a centurion soldier came to Jesus and said, Lord, come, my daughter lied to the point of death. Jesus, I'm going to come heal her. On his way to, to, uh, the, to the centurion's house, the Bible said, I think it was a centurion or Jairus, one of those two. It said the people came and said, don't, uh, don't bother Jesus no more. Right. Your daughter is now dead. And so uh, the Bible said that Jesus says, okay, uh, uh, don't fear, only believe. Only. Keep on believing. That's this thing right. may look dead. Right. It may look like your dream has been interrupted. It may look like what I said I'm going to do for you has been interrupted, but keep on believing. Amen. And then the Bible Amen. said Jesus Christ put all those out that did not believe it. That's right. So sometime right now, when you're having to believe God for some things over and above your natural human mind, mm -hmm. you may have to put some people out of your life. That's right. You may have to put some people that are talking doubt and unbelief because you ain't got time right now to entertain doubt and unbelief. Praise That's right. Put them out. Only believe. In the name of Jesus. Only believe. <laughs> Praise God. Only, Only believe. Only believe. Glory to God. Think about this. The whole of scripture mm. has nothing to do with what you and I can do by ourselves. Mm. Because it is not us doing it. It's Christ mm -hmm. in us, the hope. the hope of glory. Isn't that beautiful? It's not us doing it, but it's Christ in us, the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. So now it's important then for you and I. Again, we're going to uh, read Romans 4, 17 again. Go back to that again. Amen. And let's read it together. As it is written, mm -hmm. I have made thee the father, a father of many nations, mm -hmm. before him whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were. So God says, I'm God says concerning your life right now, wow. I'm calling those things that Amen. be not as though they were. I'm calling power in your life mm -hmm. to get wealth. Yes. I'm calling oh. All your needs met mm -hmm. according to my recent glory by Christ Jesus. God says, I quicken the dead. Come on. I, I bring dead things back to life again. I bring the dream that you've given up on back to the forefront again. Mm -hmm. So God is saying this. He's saying your security, your security is in remembering the Lord, your God, not your job. Because <laughs> sometimes, oh my God, what am I going to do with my job? Of course, we all want to work. Oh, yeah. The Bible says if a man don't work, he, don't, he shouldn't eat. So we all want to work. We all want all our jobs to come back the way they were before. Uh -huh. uh, so that's only normal. But the whole goal is our security. Yes. Even when the jobs, and they are going to come back, and they're going to come back even better. Yes, they are. Some of you are going to go back into business from this point. Amen. But remembering this, Amen. that your security is remember the Lord your God, not your job. Because God can get you the same job, a better job. Or taking into business during this time. Praise God. You got that? Amen. So think Let's about this that. now. As you as we begin to believe God, mm -hmm. listen to this now. God always challenges us to believe what the natural mind and the senses cannot grasp. Mm. <laughs> I said again, wow. when it comes to God, and, and consider this time right now that we're going through as one of these times. Yes, yes. That God always challenges us to believe. What our natural mind and our senses Can cannot you? grasp. Amen. In other words, right now, we don't know in the natural realm mm -hmm. what next, the next few weeks are going to hold. Mm -hmm. Because there's so much uncertainty there. But again, let's accept this as God's challenge to us. To believe Him. Mm -hmm. Even though our natural mind and our five senses cannot grasp it. But yet, like one man said, I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I do know who holds oh, tomorrow. tomorrow. Amen. Amen. And because he lives, I can face tomorrow. And now life is worth the living just because he lives. So let this be a time when we accept God's challenge. God, I, I, I don't understand this. My natural mind and my sisters can't grasp this, but my faith is in you. Yes. My trust Thank is you. in you today. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I trust in you with all my heart. I lean not to my own understanding, but in all my ways, God, I choose to, to trust you. And, and, I, and, and, and I know you're going to direct my paths in Jesus' name. So now my point number, this is my number 12 point. Don't believe with your mind. Believe with your spirit, which is in total contact with God. Once again, don't try to believe with your mind, but believe with your spirit, which is in total contact with God. Yeah. Because my spirit, because 
uh, uh, we're gonna, I, I want to read this one scripture there because this is so important. In the book of Ephesians, again, chapter number 3, verse 20, and the point is this. Don't try to believe with your mind. Believe with your spirit, which is in contact with God. Your spirit, this is now, your spirit has a revelation of what God can do. Amen. That your mind has not grasped yet. I'm going to say it again. God. Your spirit, your spirit has the revelation yes. of what God can do. Yes. Your request, <laughs> no matter how impossible it may be looking, does not bother God whatsoever. I mean, <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> Even in spite of what the present uncertainty is, right. recognize this, you still have a phenomenal future. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Just keep being who God created you to be. Amen. Everything that you were saying, you were, that you were last month, right. you, you still, still are today. <laughs> praise God. Don't let uncertainty Hallelujah. of the times uh, defeat you right now. That's good. God is still God. Yes. And my next point is this. <laughs> Don't look so much at the natural realm. Okay. That you take your eyes off of the supernatural. Mm. Let's say it again. Don't look so much at the natural realm Amen. and things that are going on in the natural realm. Only allowing that to feed you. But keep your eyes yes. on the supernatural. Yes. And, uh, and, and, and uh, in other words, what I'm saying is don't think with your mind right now. Think with the word. Don't think with your mind because your mind, my God, during the daytime, run away. especially when you're not by yourself at home. Ooh. Are you and, 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 and you tired of watching movies and you still look outside and outside looks Just like pacing. the amen yeah, pacing <laughs> aside and outside looks like the day after the rapture. So much quietness that people that's so yeah. solemn out there. I tell you what, you can't afford right now amen. to be thinking with your mind right now. Amen. But you gotta think with the word of God. Amen. In other words, don't so so this is now so faith then uh -huh. is spiritualized common sense. Beautiful. Uh, in other words, it's thinking with your mind mm -hmm. and not with, I'm, I'm sorry, thinking with, your, with the word and not with your mind. Okay. Uh, we're going to read again Ephesians chapter 3 and verse number 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding mm -hmm. abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. So I'm thinking then According to the power that's working in me, mm -hmm. not based upon my natural physical senses. Yes. So my thought life has got to be transformed from this physical three-dimensional world yes. to what does the Word of God say about All this? Right. Uh, in other words, Jesus, when the devil came with Jesus, Jesus did not try to rationalize uh, what his response. No. He just thought what the Word of God that's says. That's right, and spoke it. And he spoke what the Word of God right. says, and the Bible said the devil left him. Yes. So during this time... <laughs> Think, don't think with your mind trying to figure this thing out. Uh -huh. Think with the Word of God. Uh -huh. What does the Word of God say? Well, the Word of God said, I'm blessing the city. I'm blessing the field. I'm the head, not the tail. Mm -hmm. I'm above, not beneath. Mm -hmm. I'm a living, not the borrow. Blessing the coming on me and overtaking me. Yeah. All my needs are supplied. The Lord is my shepherd. You know what? Start thinking with the Word of God. That's good. Let your mind now be filled <laughs> with the word of God, yes. like you're doing this morning. Amen. This is what you're doing this morning, amen. praise God. And now the word of God is transforming you, amen, when you're thinking with the word and not with your mind. Thank you, Lord. God's word mm -hmm. will give you wisdom and strength to see God's will come to pass. I'm going to say it again. God. God's word will give you wisdom and strength mm -hmm. to see God's will come to pass. And this is my statement here. So therefore, make up your mind to stand. Come on. Amen. Make up your mind right now Amen. to stand. Yes. I don't care what's going on in your life, mm -hmm. what's going on in, 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 our, in, our, in our finances, <laughs> what's going on with the job situation, Amen. what's going on with coronavirus, make up your mind, Amen. I'm going to stand Amen. in Jesus' name. And, and notice the book of Ephesians. Let's go to the book of Ephesians now, chapter number six. Because we're going to read some things about standing. That's Glory it. to Amen. God. About standing. Make it up in our mind. Making a decision mm -hmm. that, 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 that I'm not going to retreat. Mm -mm. Amen. Mm -mm. I'm making it up in my mind. I'm making a decision to stand. Stand. We're going to read Ephesians chapter six, verse 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, mm -hmm. that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. 
Amen. That beautiful. Amen. Having done all that. I mean, that verse says, stand therefore. Glory right. to God. Stand. Amen. So this, you got to make up your mind today. Mm -hmm. Make a decision that you're going to stand. Yes. Amen. You're not going to let this thing take you. That's right, Jacqueline and, and Mark. Praise God. Amen. We're going to stand. Glory yes. to God. <laughs> having done all to stand. We're going to stand. Amen. And the Amplified Bible uh, uh, reads this. Dr. Bell, read the Amplified version of that. Therefore, put on God's complete armor. That you may be able to resist and stand your ground on the evil day of danger. And having done all the crisis demands, to stand firmly in your place. Amen. Praise <laughs> God. And then let's read verse, let's go to verse 14 now in, in the King James. Stand therefore, mm -hmm. having your loins girt about with truth. And having on the bre breastplate of righteousness. Isn't that beautiful? And oh. that we go one verse at a time. Okay. So, so, so it says, stand therefore. Uh-huh. Having done all to stand, stand therefore. <laughs> Having your long breath of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. Yeah. Righteous means I am who God says I am. That's it. Praise God. I know who I am. I yes. know what I have and I know I deserve. And God is still God. Yes. And verse 15, Dr. Bells. And your feet shone with the preparation of the gospel of peace. I'm going to use this time to preach the gospel. <laughs> I'm going to use this time to share the gospel with my friends on telephone, <laughs> through the yes. internet, through yes. Facebook. I'm going to, I'm, 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 my feet going to be shot the preparation of the gospel of peace, praise God. Yes. I'm going to use this time not to get in depression, That's but it. to declare the word of declare. God in Jesus' name. <laughs> uh, verse 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Oh my God. <laughs> Those darts be coming too. Woo. They come to your mind. Yes. You're not going to make it. Yes. How are you going to pay your rent? How are you going to pay your bills? How are you going to pay your utility bill? How are you going to eat? I tell all, Jesus says this, take no thought mm. for what you shall eat and what you shall drink. This is in the book of Matthew. For all these things the Gentiles, those who have no come of God, seek after. He said, but seek ye first. Yes. The, the kingdom, kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Yes. So make up your mind. You're going to stand, stand in this situation. Not by yourself. Mm -mm. But you're going to stand with the armor of God on in Jesus' name. Amen. And that's the whole thing in this, as we talk about this today. That's the whole thing that God wants us to do today. Because I'm telling you something. God is going to take care of yes, he will. you. Yes, he will. God is going to take care of you you during this time. Amen. And um, just, uh, um, man, I, I was going to go to this one scripture there. Beautiful. Uh, and, but I guess we can just read it and yeah. then we can just we'll read the scripture. Go me to the book of uh, uh, 2 Second Kings, Kings. the 4 verse 1. We're going to read, you can just, uh, take a moment just to talk about that. This is about a woman who was a widow. She had, uh, she had been left alone. Husband had died. What do you do when your husband has died or, and you left with children and you got the bills? Or what do you do when coronavirus has come and your job been shut down? Mm -hmm. What do you do when you don't know what to do? Mm. Uh, you're fine. What do you do when, you know, uh, business is shut down, job is shutting down? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we don't know what tomorrow brings. What do you do in situations like this when, yes. when you got debt, you still got bills to pay? So Dr. Bell, read this and then I'm going to come back and elaborate on We're going to read verse 1 through 7 okay. together. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the son of the prophets unto Elijah, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest that, that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditors is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. Go ahead, and Elijah bondmen. said unto her, What should I do for thee? Tell me. What what thou shalt, what what hast thou in thine house? And she said, Thine handmaiden hath not a, anything in thy house save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go borrow mm -hmm. thee vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, mm -hmm. even empty ve vessels. Borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, and thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and and shall pour out unto all those vessels. And thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went from him, and she shut the door upon her and her upon her sons, who brought the vessels to her, and she poured out. And it came to pass, when the vessels were full, that she said to her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And, and he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. Then she came and told the man of God, and he said, Go sell the oil and pay thy debt, and live thou 
and 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 live thou and thy children of the rest. That's right. That's right. That's right, Twala. Amen. Praise God. You're gonna you're gonna do it in Jesus' no name, no matter what. what. Praise God. That's it. So Amen. look at this woman here. Her Amen. husband died. Mm -hmm. She left with her children. And, he, and her husband left with debts. Uh -huh. But yet she went to the man of God, yeah. and the man of God gave her a word. Yeah. And again, think about this. What the man of God gave her was a word that brought an idea. What do you have in your house right now? Sometimes we can look at what we don't have, and we forget about what we, what we do have in our house. And he said, See? she said, all I got here is a little a pot of oil. He said, that's enough. Yeah. What you have right now is enough to enough. trust God with that. Amen. Two fish and five loaves of bread, that's enough mm -hmm. for God to use. And he said, okay, that, that's all you have. All right, use uh, that. Uh, use that. Yeah. And borrow some vessels. You know yes. what? Begin to expand your mind on what's possible. Yeah. The empty vessel, but give God something to feel. Amen. During this time, give God something to feel. Use this time to be creative. And, and the man of God said, look, I, I know all you guys, that's all you have, but fill, give me some empty vessels. Give God something to fill. you got to empty out your ways. Yeah. To empty out your own thoughts. Yeah. Bible says, man, your thoughts are not God's thoughts. Empty out your thoughts on how you think it's going to happen. Are you following me? Uh -huh. and, 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 and Elijah said, you, you, <laughs> give me some empty vessels. Empty out your own mind on how you're going to do it. And let God fill those vessels up. Praise and when God. she began to do that, the Bible says God began to pour My supernatural God. sustenance, <laughs> supernatural increase, supernatural favor on her life. But she began, she went into the oil business. Yeah, Praise God. The overflow. She, she went into business <laughs> during this time. See, yeah. during this time, you may not have much, but it may be enough, but it is enough. For God to, to give God some empty vessels. Say, God, my life is empty right uh -huh. now. God, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to get my job back, God. I don't know what's going to go on. But God, I'm coming to you right now as an empty vessel, God. Yeah. Fill me, God, yeah. with your new ideas. Fill me, God, with your new creativity. Yes. And, and the Bible said God began to fill those things. Because he told don't. He, and he said, look, don't just get a few. Get not a few. Mm -hmm. Meaning, Tomorrow's. think big. Amen. During this time in your senior life, Think big, because God wants to feel every idea that you got during this time. And the Bible says, glory to God, in verse number seven, then she came and told oh, the man, man of God, God. And, said, and the man of God said, go oh, sell God. the oil and pay all your debts <laughs> yes. off. Go sell the oil and pay all your debts off, and you and your children will live on the rest. Meaning that she, during this time of lack, and insufficiency, mm. she remembered the Lord her God, and the Lord gave her power to get wealth. And the Bible, she had enough to pay to pay all her debts off, and her and her children live on the rest. Can I say wow. that's, that's that's your future right there? Amen. As you remember the Lord your God, as you can stand on this time that God says that during this time He gonna He's blessing you with enough as you oh, come to an empty vessel. He filled you with new ideas, new creativity, that every one of your debts during this time, rent, car payment, everything, going to be paid off in Jesus' name. Amen. And if you're going to come into overflow, and you and your children are going to be able to live on abundance and not lack, <laughs> even during this time in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. Can you receive that today? Praise God. Now, I'm, well, I'm, I'm going to pray for you in just one moment. But as I pray for you, Thank you Lord. just as Elijah asked the woman that, that was in lack, what do you have? Mm -hmm. Well, like Jesus was looking at the offering, and, and he asked, and, 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 and he, he was looking at the offering. He looked at those that, that, that still had a lot to give, but he also looked at the little woman, the little widow woman, and mm -hmm. says, this woman, you only have two pennies, mm -hmm. but, because, but, but you gave more than everybody did. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm sure that woman, because she gave, and Jesus saw what she gave, mm -hmm. according to Luke 6, he said, given it shall be given to you, be. good measure, pressed down. Checking that ran over. So I'm sure that once she gave that mm -hmm. and Jesus was there, he called those two plans to be multiplied. Thank you. Just Lord. as he did this widow woman right here. Yes. And so it's time for you now. As I said, don't back off your giving right now. Don't back off of your tithing right now. That's good. This is the time more than ever before to remember the Lord your God. Amen. For it is he that giveth thee the power to get wealth. Yes. This is the time. For you to make sure you put God first in your tithing. Mm -hmm. To make sure you, you put God first in giving your seeds. Because you're trusting in the Lord with all your heart. Yes. And you lean out your understanding. And I'm declaring Thank you, as Lord. an apostle of God, as you function in this, in this, in this area, that you're going to be like this little woman. You're going to be able to sell 
and be in business and productive in your life and you're going to have enough and that you have enough money to pay all your debts Come off <laughs> every bill off and amen. you and your children and your family are going to live on the overflow yes. and the abundance in Jesus name amen, amen. so so I'm going to receive uh, this morning this is Sunday morning this is offering time Amen. And so we're going to receive the tithe and offerings. Now, many of you that are listening to me, you are I am members, whether you're here in Las Vegas or whether you are uh, other Arizona. parts of the country. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all are, are my partners and, uh, and, 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 and you're my regular partners, praise God. And then others of you uh, are, are, are out there, praise God. But I'm going to I want you to take this moment right now to, 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 to sow, to, to give what you have. Yes. The widow woman, all she had was two mice. Jesus said, he, he said that was greater than everybody else. Uh -huh. This widow woman, all she had was a little a pot of oil, but Jesus multiplied yes, that and uh -huh. paid off all her debts. Thank you, Lord. Are you following me? <clears throat> so I'm saying to you today, as you give today in your tithe and your offerings, mm -hmm. amen, I'm declaring that during this season in your life, all your debts are going to be paid. Amen. Either by money or by favor. Come on. Glory to God. Amen. But all of them be paid, and you're going to walk in abundance as a result of this in the name of Jesus. Yes. So this is my thing. We're going, uh, there's, a, there's a link at the top of this page, at the top of my IM page right now, and there's also a cash app right there. It's time for you to, re to, to present your tithe to the Lord. Amen. I don't care if, if you only got $10 this week. Mm -hmm. Give God a dollar this week. Amen. In other words, it's not, it's not the amount mm -hmm. but, but, uh, in that area, but it's the fact of being a tither. Amen. And so number two, heart. the offering. You know, I'm an apostle of God. And, and, and I'm supported through the offerings of the people of God, through the Amen. partnerships. Yes. So wh what did God tell you to give today? Mm -hmm. Let's pray. Think, thank God. What amount did God say, I need you to partner with Apostle Craig today in your offering? I need you to give an apostle offering today. Mm -hmm. Then you can do that also either by the link that's on there or you can do it by the cash app that I have on, on Facebook today. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I need you to, 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 to obey God Amen. because as an apostle of God, I can speak some things of your life. Amen. Because as Paul told the <laughs> Philippian church, my God was a part of your needs. So, I, so I'm going to receive that. My wife, we're going to pray for you right now. As you think about what God said, number one in your tithing, number two in your offering, in your apostle seed. And we're going to agree with you right now that every debt that you have going to be paid. Amen. As you take a stand, as you remember the Lord your God. So let's Amen. pray right now you, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. as an apostle of God, we praise you, Lord, I've spoken your word. And your word never returns into your void. Thank you, Jesus. But it accomplishes that which you please. And we decree over Thank the lives Jesus. of your people, Father, that yes. the windows of heaven yes, and opportunities Father. and insight in and favor come to them in abundance, yes. Father. And I decree that as, as they sow as, as the apostles' seed, Father, that I decree yes. that every one of their needs every. are met. Uh, according to the glory by yes. Christ Jesus, in the name I decree Jesus. every debt paid. Even in the midst of this crisis, because of your word and because yes. of your power, yes. in Jesus' in the name, name of Jesus. Amen, amen and amen. amen. We declare it's done. Amen. We declare that it's done That's in the right. name of Jesus, praise Hallelujah. God. And we thank God for you all. Amen. Now, in about five minutes, my son, Pastor Alfred and Noel Craig, going to be online. Yes. And they'll be coming on uh, on, on the our I Am page, our I Am Church page. Yes. They'll also be on the I Am uh, Church online uh, page, praise God. Get ready because they got a, a great word ready for you also. They'll be coming on at 930. And so get ready, get ready, get ready for the great word they have. And this is Pastor Al and Noel. They're, mm -hmm. they're in Phoenix, Arizona. And they'll be on the, and I'll also share on my page here too. It'll be on my page here. It'll be on the I Am Church page. It'll also be on the I Am Church online page. And get ready for the great word they got to share with you also. Amen. And uh, so Dr. Baby, you have any final words? Yes. I want to give them uh, a scripture that I was looking at early this morning. Mm -hmm. And it's found in Psalms mm -hmm. chapter 37. Seven, verse 18 and 19 that's Psalms 37 mm -hmm. 18 and 19 it says the Lord knows the days of the blameless and their inheritance will continue forever they will not be ashamed in the time of evil and in the days of famine they will have plenty and be satisfied. So that lets us know God has our back. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. We love you. God bless you. That's right. God has our back. Yes, he does. In the days, of, that's a great word, Dr. Bell. Yes. In the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Amen. And we have plenty. We, and have plenty. And have plenty in <laughs> Jesus' name. Yes. And we declare total satisfaction total. and plenteousness in your yes. life in the name of Jesus. So, Amen. again, get ready. My, my, my son, Alfred Jr., going to be on in a few minutes. Uh, 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 and, and Pastor Noel. 
well on I am the I am church page also the I am church online page we'll also share on this page get ready to listen to them praise God I got a great word for you so Amen. until then we'll, yes, we'll be watching which in a few minutes but until then this is Apostle Alfred Craig and Dr. Ben say may God's riches and his very, very best, best be yours. yours have a blessed day bye-bye now